What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach, and in today's video, we're answering the question of how to decode a QR code in Python. In a previous video, we essentially um, imported this Python package called QR code, and then we used it to create this QR code right here. Now, let's do the reverse of that. Let's say, given this QR code, can we extract out what this is supposed to be saying? So, let's start by installing the needed packages to help us extract out the contents of that QR code. All right, so the package that we need to help us read or decode our QR code is going to be OpenCV. Now, there are a couple out there that you could choose. I'm going with OpenCV because it's more actively maintained and it has a QR code detector and decoder in it. So essentially, to do this, you're going to need to install it. Um, I highly recommend you use a uh, virtual environment to install your Python packages into because it helps make it so that all your basically all your projects are sandboxed. If you want to learn more about that, I have a video on that that you can check out. But essentially, to install it, all you need to run is pip install open cv dash python. Now, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go ahead and run that. But essentially, if you run that, you install it. And then once it's installed, you need to come over here and say import cv2, right? All right. So now that we have it installed, now we have our, our package imported, how the heck are we going to essentially read in our QR code and decode it and make sure that it is the same as this saying right here? All right. So now that we have our um, OpenCV package installed and imported, we now need to use it, right? And to use it, essentially what we need to do is we need to create our QR code detector um, or object, right? So we're going to say detector, detect, Detector is equal to cv2 dot qr code detector. All right, we're gonna create this object and now we need to use it to help detect our code. Now there's a function in here, so I can say detector detector dot um, detect and decode. Now this object, if you didn't know, um, or if you're in IntelliSense, like mine isn't in this case, is, isn't popping up. What you can do is head open and Google something like um, OpenCV uh, QR code detector. Um, and what will happen is, is you'll get to something like this. And this is essentially the page where you'll see the detect, detect and decode function. Now it takes in an image. It has some optional things that you can also pass in. But what's nice is it tells you this is what it sends out. It, has, it, text, it sends out the, the value the points and the QR code. So coming back, if we use this, we can pass in an image. Now, I don't wanna pass in just the image and memory that we created. I want to actually um, show you that given an image in say your file directory, you can load that image um, and detect off of it. And that's because up here, what we're doing is we're recreating this QR code and saving it. And then I'm basically just gonna reload it back into memory. So what we're, or reload it as a new object by just doing cv2.imread. And then we're gonna say, um, we're gonna say read in the file name, right? So there it is, there we're going to read in our image. And then that, what's gonna happen is it's going to, given that image, it's going to try to detect off of it and then decode it. And because of that, it's going to give us some output. And it's gonna give us the QR, um, the QR text. And then it's also gonna give us two others, the points and the thing, uh, and, the, and the points and the, like it said, um, the straight QR code, which it defines here as the optional output image containing reflect. So we don't really care about these. Um, in this case, you may use these for other things, but because I don't care about them, I can do a, a nice little thing in Python where you can do these underscores, which will mean that it'll take out the values, it'll extract out, because if we if we didn't, this is basically returning a tuple, and if we didn't do something like this and we only returned one value, that value would then have three different things in it. But since we only need the one, we're saying, hey, extract all this out, but since I'm passing the underscores, just assign them to these, and we don't really care about them, so it'll kind of ignore them in your case, and won't assign them to a variable, but then you can then just use the QR text. So now, what I can do is say, um, we can say print and then use our F string to say the QR text is equal to that. And now just to show you like, hey, this should be the same as our saying, we can say something like if QR text is equal to our saying, then print, and I'll just space it a little bit, these are the same. So what we expect from this is to get our decoded text that says this is awesome exclamation point and then a, um, another string to say that they are the same, that between what we asked, what we created originally up above and now what we've decoded should be equal. So if we go in here and run this and we say Python, how to decode 
QR code, we see that QR text is equal to this is awesome and they are the same. So just like that, that is a way that you can use. Um, this is one way, one method, um, probably the method I would prefer because um, it's using popular and more uh, constantly updated libraries. Um, such as QR code as well as uh, OpenCV. But this is how you can um, detect, or this is how you can detect and decode a QR code in Python. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming. Bye.